Hello again. Um, today we'll talk about you know um, multi-level marketing, especially um, you know when they target it to women and why I don't like them. I know it can be an unpopular opinions around here, but I do stand by uh, my you know my opinion because it's um it is something that I've seen is a uh, very predatory toward you know low income people is like um. So basically how multi-level marketing work, because I have family members who got sort of sucked into it too. It's like, um, you know, this is company and they go on an interview and on that interview, everybody get hired. They get trained on how to sell certain things like, you know, healthness stuff, um, supplements or any other things. But the point is you're selling something to your family and friends and it's supposed to be pretty easy right um but the thing is a lot of these people who they interview they have to actually um buy the products that they want to sell it's not like you know you have a storefront and you buy whatever and then you put your own label on it no so these type of things is more like um you you buy a, a stuff they have their own labeling and, it, and you're like their reseller so you're advertising for an even bigger company to your family and friends and it's um not exactly you know the best way to approach selling products to be honest even though you know i'm selling online too and we often get mixed up with these sort of people and i personally don't like it because um yeah they don't get to decide you know what's gonna go like what's on the label is gonna go on their products they don't get to source like they have to buy you know the this big company thing and then resell it so that means that they're also a customer to you know the this bigger company that they're doing and um in the u.s if you're actually you know an mlm marketers um you're actually not a business owner per the irs so you cannot file tax on it so for me you know i have a company i can file tax i lose money i gain money here and there right but for the mlm is actually not eligible to be filing tax um as a company as a small business owner and that's a very sad part and a lot of these people who actually did mlm um they actually give up because um it's really really hard to do so that's the biggest problem I have but the second problem I have with these MLM is actually because you know they're um, promoting a lot of false information is very weird like they would have like this friends who's promoting this to you right so you already trust them a bit because they're your friends right and then they're telling you like this magical products that you know they have going on so say um Pre propel oil out of your food even though it's already in your belly somehow or block sugar like all of this stuff it's like well it's if sugar is already in your body your body's gonna get it it's not you know something that you know that gonna be selectively get out even though it's not a you know a toxin so a toxin your body can sort of filter it out um with the organs so liver you know kidney whatever so it will filter it out but with stuff like sugars that your body likes it's not going to filter it out even though you, you eat random um supplements so i'll show you one example here let me see. So this is an example that I found. So um, I I see that myself blocked a bit of it, but you can see, you know, the newer solution to slim down. So this is part of, you know, their new year re resolution thing. So they're, you know, advertising this. If you can see, it's like um, compound fiber candy. So that, that's, that sounds fun. It's candy, but it has fiber in it. Um, that's weird, but then you have to like reduce fat content, you know, promote cell met metabolism. So I don't, really, I don't even know what that means. Um, promote, um, so block more than 40% of sugar in food. Like, how do you do that? It's already in your body and your body likes it. How do you do that? And it blocks more than 90% of fat in food. So um, I don't know where that comes from, but it's not possible. You know, fat is something that the body wants and need. So it's not gonna, you know, block or propel it out. It's not one of the toxins. So, and then dispel oil, excrete serpent fat composition. So now we're getting into very odd um, situation where this person saying you can actually, you know, poop out fat, <laughs> like just have either vomit out or poop out. And that's where we get into a very uh, shady, area where um 
you know, these sort of thing is trying to make you basically vomit or, you know, have diarrhea. And that's not a good thing health wise. You're not supposed to do that. You know, you don't, you're not supposed to have diarrhea. You're not supposed to be vomiting every day of your food. We're getting into like, you know, eating disorder um, problems there too. So as you can see, so that's very bad. And then, you know, then, then they go on to have like, okay, improved gastrointestinal function, um, regulate prebiotics, even though it doesn't have anything but besides fiber apparently, but well, we'll see how that goes and reduce calories on food intake. So you eat more stuff to reduce calories. How does that sound, you know, to a normal person? Like, without you knowing this brand that's something that i'm trying to do you're not seeing the name of the brand too clearly for a reason so i sort of obscured them a bit but as you can see these um you know companies they have very similar claims of, of um you know basically this magical candies to lose weight and a lot of it i feel like has to do with laxative when you take and so if you're um eating a whole lot, like taking a whole lot of uh, laxative medication, you're gonna have diarrhea or you, you know, your body trying to expel everything inside. And because you know, all that stuff is gone, then you are gonna lose weight, but it's not gonna be sustainable because you only have a certain amount of poop inside. And the more you expel, you don't have as much as much anymore and you don't like magically consume all of it in one day and so it works for some people at the beginning like for a month but then as you go on you're gonna find yourself going to very gray areas of like um trying to basically take out the food that you eat which is similar to sort of binge eating where somebody you know they would eat a whole lot of food so you would see they eat a lot of food but then they also going to sort of like um, trying to force all of that food out at a later time, you know, a more convenient time and um, force it out so that they, their body actually doesn't uh, consume that amount of food. And that's very bad because the more you um, vomit out, you know, you're making your, yourself vomit, like you can smell that acid taste and that's from your stomach and that's not good for your, the lining of your esophagus, of your throat inside. And so the more you do it, the more it's going to hurt yourself, you know, hurting that um, esophagus, hurting that lining. And basically that's where, um, you know, I feel like a lot of these MLMs are predatory. So it gives you, you know, a sense of community. Like you're with this community of sellers that you're trying to help your family, which is a great thing, but you're being misled by um, all of these stuff. Like, so they would, um, you know, you're going to think that you're helping people, but you're actually not. And and the results that you see is going to be fast, going to be quick. You can see it, but that's not something that you can maintain for a long time, say your lifetime. That's not something like that's something you have to depend on. It's like a drug you have to depend on uh, for the rest of your life. And that's not how we want to live. You know, we want to find solutions to fix our problems, but then we got it. We don't have to rely on that, um, on that thing uh, forever or ever again. And um, so, yeah, that's uh, my little rant for today about MLM and pretty much mad about it because how much, you know, um, people in my fitness, the in fitness industry been robbed with these sort of shady characters and um, we don't get as much um appreciated so our the stuff that we're saying right now is not as appreciated because of all of these people so do does have some you know personal feelings in it but um yeah that's pretty much it and thank you for listening to me today and bye bye